Scott, based on your halftime interview, you were pretty frustrated with the mistakes that were being made before the first, uh, before in the first half. Um, how do you feel about that after? after? Same, same way I feel before. I'm disappointed. Um, we seem to find new and innovative ways to give a game away here and there uh, every week. Um, first of all, congratulations to Indiana. I think he's done a really good job. If you look at the difference of their team, I told him before the game this year to last year, uh, they're a lot better team this year. Um, so um, congratulations to them. They, they, they earned it. Um, but, you know, we... We made so many errors that cost us that game. Um, we couldn't move it any better than that in the first half. Um, you know, we got a chance to put games away if we get a couple stops, and we didn't. Got the ch chance to put the game away early if we don't fumble and let them run it 60, 75 yards back to our three. Um, go for it on a fourth and one, and we have a receiver that doesn't get on the ball when he's supposed to be on the ball, and then we miss a field goal and give up points there. Um, and, and it was in all three phases. Um, can't give up fade balls on second and 30 or whatever it was. Um, can't have bad eyes. Um, can't punt balls out of bounds and kick balls out of bounds. Can't have them picking up that many third downs. Um, and I, I'm sure I'm missing a lot of them, but I, it, you know, it's frustrating. We got a lot of guys on this team that really care. Uh, we got some guys on this team that are, are tough and dedicated enough. We don't have enough of them yet. And I told the team, right now, that's where we are. We're just okay. We're just okay right now. Because a lot of the things that uh, are done are just okay. And um, I'm not going to be happy with just okay. I want a bunch of team players that aren't going to be happy with just okay. Um, and this is going to keep getting better. Um, I know. Nobody's more disappointed than me, but Nebraska fans are, are disappointed. Everybody wants this to happen faster. It's going to happen. Um, but one of the ways it's going to happen is just okay can't exist around here, and there's a little too much just okay. Um, you've talked about it, that it's going to be a long process and it's getting better. Are you surprised whether it's coming off for a bye week or big games in the season at the extent of the mistakes that, that you saw today at this point? Um, yeah, I'm surprised. Um, you yeah, know, but we had a flow this morning where the whole team's up and, and getting ready. And the guys weren't dialed in enough. And uh, uh, Darian had to stop everybody and yell at him. Um, you know, that's a guy that's been here for f six months. Um, too much just OK exists. Uh, and when, when there's not enough attention to detail, not enough guys that care enough to do things perfect, then those mistakes show up on the field. Uh, and, you know, part of it's just we, we got to get better. Um, you know, we, we got to be able to generate a pass rush. If we don't, our DBs are going to be back there on their own forever. Uh, there, there's other pieces of our team that we have to keep improving, either through more talent or uh, improvement, um, because you just can't operate in this league with deficiencies. And, um, and in too many ways, we're just an average team right now, and that shows up. But the, the mistakes are frustrating. Um, you know, we, we did plenty of, plenty of things good enough to win that football game, just like we have a couple others this year. Uh, but you can't do some of the things we did. Yeah, you mentioned the pass rush. I mean, that, that seemed like a, a pretty glaring weakness most of the day. <coughs> what do you do about that, about that part of the defense, and, and how do you – generate it for the rest of the season? You know, I don't know. I watch Ohio State play Wisconsin today and watch one guy generate it by himself. Um, we, we need to keep getting guys in here that um, can do those things. Um, and, and that's being honest. We, we got guys playing their butts off. I think we got a, a lot of really good players. We've got a lot of really good, good young players who are going to be good. But we can't count on having to blitz all the time to generate pressure. Because then even if they recognize it, identify it, and pick it up, then you're even in, in a worse situation in the back end. Um, so, you, you know, there's just areas like that we have to get better. How, how do we get better? Uh, you know, we're going to keep working on it right now, but uh, we have to be able to generate pass rush. And otherwise, we're on islands back then. Do, do you feel like you misjudged the culture of this team going in? Going to this season? season? Yeah. No, I, w I was really pleased with the culture of this team because we weren't doing anything. 
The kids were doing everything we asked them to do. Uh, SIP, they were doing everything we asked them to do. But, but like I said, I think this week or last week, there's a difference between doing it because we tell them to do it and doing it because they want to be great. And I, I think we still have, you know, some kind of ratio on one side and the other of that fence right now. I, I, you know, I, I told them in the locker room, just okay never existed in a locker room that I was in when I was at Nebraska because you were you you were expected to uh, live up to a standard. Our guys are, are doing the right things, you know, which is a big improvement from last year. Um, but I want guys that live and die for it and want to be great and and are tough. I don't want guys that go out in Minnesota with hoodies on and everything for warm ups. Um, th that just says to me that just okay is enough. You know, I'm a little cold, so I'm going to come ha out here like that. Um, you'd got ridiculed or beat up when I was playing if you did that. And we got to keep getting tougher. We uh, we got to get, keep getting more talent in here, and we got to keep working. And we're just okay right now. I'm not going to be happy with just okay. Can you change up the last four games? Now? We're going to keep changing it. Uh, you know, to the degree that I want it to be at right now, no, probably not. Uh, but we can change it enough to be competitive and have a chance in all four games. Uh, this is a good league. The, the team we're going to play on the road, have probably a lot like us. They played great and won some big games. Uh, I didn't see their result today. I think they're well coached. I think they're a good team. Uh, we're going to have to play our butts off to have a chance in that one. Then you got Wisconsin, Iowa coming here. We got to go to Maryland. Um, we're, listen, we're going to keep working and just okay isn't going to be okay with me, but. Um, we got to keep improving. What do you think of where Luke played once he was in that? Our, our quarterbacks, I think, are three guys that uh, are tough in what we want. Um, I think people got a chance to see that. I, I didn't know the stats. Luke was 5 of 6. Eight, uh, Noah was 14 of 16. Um, thought we had a game plan that gave them opportunities to make plays with their legs and their feet. I think they did a great job of it, both of them. Right now, we got three. Three injured quarterbacks, nicked up guys. So I don't know where that's going to leave us on Monday, but um, I thought those guys laid it all out there. Were you going to play Luke if, if Noah hadn't gotten nicked up? Was he yeah, we were going to play Luke anyway. We had some stuff for Luke. Luke's capable of running our whole offense, but we had some stuff we wanted him to, to come in and run. Um, we were going to do it early, but then we got on such a roll offensively that I didn't want to uh, put a hiccup on that. So we kept Noah out there, and then we were forced into that situation. So um, both those kids are, are warriors. Both those kids are the type of kids that, that when this thing is rolling, uh, type of kids that we need to make that happen. Was Adrian an option at all today? He had to go to the quarterback? Yeah, uh, Adrian was an option. And right at the end there, I, we were kind of laughing, even though it was the heat of the moment. I went. Luke was down and went back over. Uh, Noah wasn't supposed to go back in. and. I looked at Mark and Noah and Adrian and said, which, which one of these guys is less hurt? And they both wanted to go in. They both could have gone in. They both definitely weren't 100%. Um, they're both tough. Um, another one of those young players that was really tough was Wandale. And you know, you guys have seen from him and what is he sort of bringing to the team? Because he took some tough hits, but he keeps bouncing right back up. Wandale's a weapon, um, they're kind of like pass rusher. We need more weapons. Um, and we got five of those spread across the field and a few guys that can, can make plays like Wandale makes, we're going to be really tough. Um, he wasn't a hundred percent either. And he went out and played like he was, um, you know, he, he earned the right to, even though he's not on defense to wear a black shirt today. Um, he's that kind of kid. Scott, you, know, go ahead. You, you know, the meaning of you know, the black shirt and the alternate jersey and all the symbolism that comes with that. Did that bother you even more today, knowing that, you know? You know, it, it, was, no, it wasn't lack of effort. Um, you know, I thought we played the run pretty well. I thought we tackled pretty well. Um, you know, they had some good schemes that made us look bad at times, some things we hadn't seen. I got to look at it at the tape on defense. I'm worried more about the offense when I'm out there. Um, I thought, I thought we did well enough against the run. Um, li listen, we should have scored way more points than we scored if we hadn't, you know, came up empty on a, on a drive where we get a first down on fourth down and then miss a field goal. If we don't 
put the ball on the ground and give them a 75 yard return. If we don't fumble a completion, um, they miss the protection on a key fourth down right at the end of the game and let the backer run through clean. Uh, you know, those things are going to happen again. They're happening too much right now. We played well enough offensively to win. Um, defensively, I thought they did well enough against the run, but, you know, we gave up a ton of passing yards, and uh, that's on, on a lot of guys. I um, thought the uniforms looked great. Um, I think it's great for University of Nebraska to have that identity of black shirts. Uh, we got to represent them better next time we wear them. Aaron Daniels, he's, he, he didn't seem to play at times in the second half. Yeah, he was a little uh, little injured, too. Um, tried to gut it out, but he just wasn't full speed. Scott, you mentioned the, um, the turnover with Federal. Uh, you're up 14 to 9, I think, at that point. You're driving. It. Did he, he just tried to pass me. He just got it knocked out, or what happened? I think he tried to shuffle it to Diedrich. I have to ask him. Um, our, you know, our running back was supposed to block the guy that came in, and we just didn't block him. Um, and then I think Noah just tried to, to make a play, and it, it was a mistake. But again, yeah, you score right there, and it's 21-9. Um, we're in really good shape. If you add that up with all the other mistakes we made, you know, we did enough things to win the football game. But um, teams that are just OK make those mistakes, and that's where we are. You said uh, Darian had to get on the guys um, this morning. What was the situation, Scott? No, we were just warming up. We get the guys up in the morning and just get them going, just get their blood flowing. Um, you know, it's just not. I know what that would look like on a great team. That would look like a bunch of guys out of bed, um, already got some butterflies going, and it it would look like a um, marine drill. And um, it didn't until he said something. What kind of assessment you get? in response to that message, message that you give them about how just OK can't exist here? Um, it's good response. I was hard on the guys today because I wanted it out of them today. And we got it out of a lot of them. Um, you know, I, I want guys that care and, and guys that want to just a deep desire to be great. Um, I think we got some old guys like that. I think we got a lot of young guys like that. Uh, but that that's the culture we're building, and um, you can't be partway in on that. All good. Thanks. Hi, this is Jason Jorgensen, sports director at KRVN. Thanks for watching our YouTube video. To keep up to date with everything we have going on with our sports coverage, you can find that. And we love to have you subscribe to our channel. Just hit the little red button in the right corner.